<laughs> is, is this your first time on radio? Uh, yeah, this is my first time ever being F- on radio. <laughs> what do I tell you something now? Listen to your album. It'll be your first of many. <laughs> but first of all, you have... Uh, Mirren's just released uh, your debut album. Yeah. And it's called I Kept These Old Blues. Uh, tell us a bit about it first, just before we... Um, it's a, it's mainly like country blues songs, um, uh-huh. and there's I think there's how many songs? Twelve maybe. <laughs> have um, you have you written any yourself? No, I haven't. They're all cover songs of okay. kind of old blues guys from like the nineteen twenties and thirties. Aye. Yeah. And and you fo- what age are you? Fourteen. I'm sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> yeah. How does how did someone sixteen get into blues? Old blues. Um. Well, I kind of grew up. Um. My dad was really into it, and. Um, I've always kind of grew up just listening to it all the time, that's kind of how I got into it. <laughs> and you took us, you just took to it right away? You yeah, I just it? loved it straight Brilliant. away. Well, some of the songs on it are old songs, because I was just checking in, in the back history of some of them, and I was kind of mesmerised, I was going, how, how's, how's a young girl, <laughs> how do you come <laughs> on to that, I, I just don't know, you know. But anyway, before we could talk more, we would love to hear a song from you. And uh, then we'll discuss the album and stuff like that. Yeah. What's the first song you're going to do first? Um, the first song we're going to do is Candyman, and it's by Reverend Gary Davis. <laughs> oh, whenever you're ready, okay. we're looking forward to this. I can 
That was absolutely brilliant. My God, you, you sound like somebody's been singing that for years and years. <laughs> really, it's lovely to hear. I, I'm a big believer, I'm a big fan of old songs being brought back, you know, classic songs that should never be allowed to disappear. And a lot of them blues artists have disappeared, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and fair play to you, it's brilliant that you're, <laughs> Thank you. you're reviving them. Come here. Uh, so we want to go back now. You, 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 uh, you stopped playing um, when you were about nine or so. No, I kind of started. I started. Oh, started playing, yeah, I started. Sorry, I got sorry. my first guitar when I was nine, uh-huh. and I kind of started playing. And then as I got a bit older, I got well into. I started doing jujitsu and boxing, oh, and right. I was very into that. And I kind of left, forgot about the guitar for a while, uh-huh. and I was competing a lot in boxing and jujitsu as well. Taking and up then, your time, just yeah, you. no time for it. Uh-huh. Um, and then when COVID hit, I didn't. Everything was all cancelled, like all the sports and stuff. Yeah. And I didn't have really much to do for a while, so I just took up the guitar again and kind of haven't, kind of just haven't gone back. Uh-huh. It's really. Yeah. And and how long is it since you have you know started the process of the album? How long ago did you start that? Um, it's it took me actually it took, it took me about two years to record the full album because mm-hmm. um I. When I got I got offered the album was when um, I posted a YouTube video um, back in I think it was 2020. Yeah. Uh, and that's gonna and then Josh Rosenthal um he kind of left a comment and he ended up count contacting us and asking us for wow. a record deal. <laughs> That was a big thing for you. Yeah, it was really surprising. Yeah. But it just shows you the power of YouTube. Yeah. And, and, and for young people, for anybody really interested in music, get it up there on social media, take full advantage of yeah. it. And there there you are. And uh, did I see, uh, what do you call her, Karis Matthews? Um, yeah. Karis? Um, yeah, in January I'm going to I'm going to be on her um, blues show, her blues radio show. Well, this will just be a wee sort of warm-up for us, you know. <laughs> yeah. And, and is that over in England, is it? Um, yeah, I have to go over to London to do wow. it. Wow. <laughs> That's brilliant. And she recommended that to Bob Dylan. Yeah. I don't think we'll see you up around these parts again. <laughs> You'll be too famous. Uh, how many tracks are on the album? Uh, there's 12 songs in the full album. Right. And when you were um, sitting down um, to put the song, had you, a, had you a whole load of songs? Had you cut down finally to get 12? Or what way did it work for you? Um, no, when I when I got offered the album, I'd only known a couple of songs. So I, I was kind of learning as I went along. I was learning these songs. So... That's kind of why it took two years. I was learning as I went along. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And so you, you recorded and produced the album up with Terry up in, in, in uh, Valley, Valley Music Studios. Yeah. And uh, how did you enjoy that process? Uh, yeah, I really, I really loved um, recording with Terry. Uh-huh. It was really just his wee, the wee studio, um, home studio, studio we had in this house. It was really comfortable and uh, it was just really nice atmosphere in it. You have to, is that your first recording to do apart from your YouTube? Um, yeah, that's where I did my first. And then you went down. I seen you were up in Bally Shannon there and done a, a, the video shoots and all. <laughs> that that was a good experience. For um, you, yeah, it? in Bundoran it was in. Bundoran, I beg your pardon, sorry. And the. Oh no, sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> Bally Shannon. <laughs> Aye. Um, um, at least I'm writing something. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was in good. St Anne's Church. Aye. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is all new for you. And then, yeah. then all of a sudden, RTE, your album becomes uh, Album of the Week in RTE. Yeah. How did, how did that? Is that just did someone uh, contact them, or what way did that work? Um, well, my dad's we kind of become friendly friendly with them, um, Keith Mannion, and he helped. He's been helping us out a lot, and ah, right, okay. got it out there. And Keith promotes away. Right? Yeah, he's uh, helping us promote. Very very good. <laughs> so what's next then? Gigs and. Um, I've started. I did my fifth gig there in Dublin um, on Saturday. Um, and the <clears throat> it was for Yule, and they're for, they're donating it to the Simon McU- community, <laughs> and that was my fifth gig in Dilly Mount Park. Park, yeah. And uh, uh, in front of how many? Um, there was about um, there's supposed there was kind of three hundred. There's about three hundred people there, but they're in different um, there's kind of different rooms of different people playing at the same time. So there are probably I'm so hundred. Su- there's maybe been fifty hundred people in that my yeah about hundred people when I was playing. <laughs> Wow, and uh, I just see the uh, Irish Times culture uh, have uh, tweeted that uh, Marin Bradley, uh, exciting first steps of a Donegal country blues prodigy. <laughs> it's not everybody gets called a prodigy, let me tell you. <laughs> so uh, uh, you just seem to be taking the, the, the place by storm. RT album of the week, that's a major... There's people going their lifetimes and they wouldn't even get airplay in the RT, let alone... You know, that's yeah, brilliant. It's crazy. It's going to all happen very quickly. Uh, and you're able to control it. 
Yeah. Not really, to be no. honest. <laughs> so what about the what about the uh, the martial arts and stuff? Have you went back to that, or have you just put it to one side? <clears throat> um, I was kind of I kind of stopped now for a wee while, um, just because um, and especially the jiu-jitsu, you can hurt you can very easily like injure your fingers in it, so I don't want to oh, hurt my fingers or anything. Sure, no, <laughs> forget guitar. about that. No, that's all you want. <laughs> yeah. You go and play in somewhere. And uh, you're gigging. Oh, if people want to get in touch with you, are, are you on the pl- all the platforms? Are you are you on? Um, yeah, I'm on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook and all. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. And uh, how much traction is the uh, are the uh, videos getting stuff? How do you find that? Um, well, when I first my first first video I ever posted um was Police Dog Boot Blues, I think, and it I hadn't really like I hadn't had any subscribers or anything yet, and it just got a lot of attention when I first posted it, uh-huh. and it was really surprising. <laughs> I think it's amazing. I, yeah. I just think it's amazing that you know there's the you know, there's so much negativity, people around social media, you know, people, mm-hmm. but there is so much positive out there too. Yeah. And this is just an example of it. So it's great encouragement to other people. It says here, Bradley's playing is especially for uh, one so young, remarkably accomplished her technique and timing as a fruit <laughs> of serious talent and application. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, you're fairly hitting it, I'll tell you. <laughs> so the album is uh, out and released. Where can people get it, Miriam? Um, you can buy it on the Tonkin Square and Bandcamp, that mm-hmm. wee website, and then it's available in all um, record stores in Ireland and in America and all too. Oh, America? I think it's actually it's sold out mostly. Oh, it's sold out. Why? There'll be more coming. There'll be more coming, yeah. Bring up, Mike. Down there, John. We're, we're over here. You. Yeah, I'm just saying. That it's, uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's sold out now in in Ireland at the minute the, the, on vinyl and CD. But the cargo, it's uh, been distributed by cargo. There'll be more coming. Like in the shops, can order more. So I think there's a there's a lot of people looking for it. That is. Uh, Morin hasn't actually got her own copies mm-hmm. yet either, so she's still waiting on her own ship. <laughs> yeah. She yeah. actually hasn't handled <laughs> I've the vinyl not. or the CD yet yeah. herself. Yeah. But you know, to, to go to, to go to vinyl. Uh, is, is a big thing too, yeah. you know, because there's a, there's a cost process there and everything. But I just love the people go to vinyl. I just love that, you know, getting that physical. Vi- when I get a vi- when I get a vinyl copy, I don't play it. <laughs> I keep it and I use a CD. And, yeah. you know, and so I go. It's never been touched. It's never been played. You know. But John, John, our father here joins us, and he, he thought he wasn't going to get talking, but I, I, we roped you in. Come here. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, as a parent. Uh, there's careful steps you have to take and all this and this is a big you know, this is a, a massive thing happening very very suddenly is, yeah. Um, yeah well we were when the offer came from Josh for the album well, we just thought it was crazy we were very very slow to say yes like in thinking uh-huh. about the age of her and we didn't even know if in a year's time you know when maybe Covid was over and the Jiu Jitsu and boxing started up with, that she'd uh-huh. still want to do it so uh-huh. we kind of we were very slow to say yes and then Josh kind of you know, we stipulated a lot of things like, you know, there'll be no pressure on her, that she'd have to do it in her own time, however yeah. whatever length of time Very it good. took her. And, you know, no obligation on her to promote it if she didn't want to when the time came around. And uh-huh. he agreed with everything. Josh is as cool as you could get. Like, um, Josh Rosenthal of uh, Thompson Square Records in San Francisco. He could made a cooler man, like. But uh, he agreed with everything. And so we slowly went ahead and kind of... Here we are now, like it's uh, and all that, John. Oh, you know, he's in San Francisco. So, have you met as in personally? Is it all mm, zoomed? All just zoom. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's a big step. That's a big step. But obviously, your interest in and in, in this style of music, blues, and that, is, is, have you always been that? Oh, I've always been into it. Yeah, I've, people that know me from when I'm Martin's age, I've <laughs> been torturing them with this old old blues music from the twenties and uh-huh. Blind Lemon Jefferson, Blind Blake, Robert Johnson, all this Robert stuff. Johnson. Uh-huh. And, and who would be the main main one? You know? For me, um, most say, famous probably Robert Johnson. Yeah, mm. Robert Johnson's probably the most famous yeah. of, from that era. Yeah, but um, for us, I think Blind Blake, uh, bl- Blind Mississippi Lemon John Hurt is another big, huge influence. Mm. So that's m- m- probably one of Martin's f- personal yeah. favourites herself, and yeah. maybe Elizabeth Cotton. Oh yeah, Elizabeth Freight Cotton. Train would be a big. Come here, and there's some cracking names they have, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know, brilliant. <laughs> oh, Blind Lemon Jefferson, and yeah, yeah there's some crazy names. Uh, all right. Yeah. Well, now, in, in fairness to them, a lot of them, like uh, you know, there's a lot of things going on in these two. A lot of them didn't survive for too long, but a lot of them just played, you know, rawness. I loved of it, and I now I have the world's worst memory, right? But I remember watching women women playing ladies 
blues singers and they just blew you away. Mama, big mama, big Thornton, Thornton, yeah. Thornton yeah. And yeah. She, dog and oh yeah. my God, it's just something else, you know. And uh, it's brilliant. I think it's great uh, that you're, you're keeping that classic music alive because it's just uh, it's dying, or it's, you know, people. Very, very few people holding on to it. Only the older school. You know yeah. what I mean? Do you collect that music, John? Um, I wouldn't be a big, big vinyl man or anything, but I mean, I have hundreds of CDs in the house, you know, uh, and yeah, uh, I've listened to it for years and years and years. And yeah, I'm a real nerd, like when it comes, <laughs> when it comes <laughs> to that stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very good. But it's great, John, uh, you know, and it's great that you have that and I've just done it. Um, and strange enough, you don't play yourself, but you No, teach. I do. I do play myself as well. Oh, like, oh do you? Oh, I do, yeah. I've played for years, but I don't perform. I've never performed now. I, uh, probably the worst uh, case of stage fright in history, so I just don't do it. But um, <laughs> right? I've always played. I've always been mad on the guitars and uh-huh. always learning more myself too. And uh, yeah. always played and yeah, oh, well, taught a wee bit as well. Always taught a wee bit in the side. Yeah, always he taught me. Taught He's me. my teacher. Oh, very good. Yeah. Well, see the thing about it is, if you're saying John, very good too. You know that stage fright thing. That's that's. There's a lot of these things that happen. You know. You know. Mm. You have to think about that too. So. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we're t- taking it very slow, and she's building up. She's kind of, I born would get fairly nervous as well, and she's just, <laughs> she's just a. Uh, it gets easier every time, though. Like, yeah. Of course it does. Of course it does. And you know when you're going on, when you're going over there to, to London and that, you know you'll you, you you'll find a lot of these people uh, are there for the good, the better good for yourself and look after you. You you you'll, you'll see the next time we're talking to you, you just. <laughs> We're going to get another piece of music off you if you don't yep. mind. But I'm going to take a, a quick ad break. Uh, what 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 piece are you going to do next? Um, Mr. B. John Hurt's uh, Wrestle Woman Blues. Oh, yeah. on the way after this break. Don't go away, <laughs> Murrin Bradley. Did you see Fran's letter to Santa? No. Dear Santa, I want a dolphin. Real one, please. And a donut as big as a car. Dunn stores can make Christmas for almost everyone. Whether you dream of amazing food, a beautiful tree, or the presents underneath it, we've got you covered. Except for dolphins and car-sized donuts. We'll leave that to Santa. Make Christmas for everyone at Dunn Stores. Christmas classics are back at Century Cinemas this Christmas. With the return of classics like Home Alone, The Polar Express, and many more. Every weekend starting from December the 2nd. To book tickets or for more information, contact us on 074 91 21976 or visit our website at centurycinemas.ie. Us pigeons see everything when we're flapping around up here. Well, almost everything. See, burning certain fumes releases invisible toxic pollutants, which can trigger asthma and lead to serious illness. So if you're going to light a fire in your home, make sure to use low smoke fuel. Oh, and never wing at burning rubbish. Choosing low smoke fuel is better for all of us. Let's clear the air for everyone and remember to clean chimneys and heating appliances at least once a year. Brought to you by the Government of Ireland.
That was absolutely beautiful. And do you know the thing about it? You do have a voice that adds to this. It's all very well having the old song, but you have a lovely voice, a real bluesy type of voice, which is brilliant. Thanks. So well done on that. Uh, the album is uh, just been released. It's called I Kept Those Old Blues, and it's available in vinyl and CD. And a limited number on cassette. Oh, very good. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Ah, brilliant. That's great. God almighty, it's great to see cassettes coming back again. <laughs> and the vinyl and the CDs. Brilliant. Well, uh, where can people catch you next? Where are you gigging next? Um, I have a, I have a TV appearance um, coming up. I'm not what? really supposed to say. No, don't talk about put, it, but... Um, don't put yourself under pressure, do not. No. Next week. <laughs> Excellent. Well, sure, you'll keep us posted on... Yeah. It's been a delight having you on. I just want to thank, I know you've an old guitar, but Jimmy's going to do a wee recording up the stairs. So, yeah. um, listen, Maren, uh, it's been an absolute delight having you here. And yourself, John, thank, thank you. you. And and Travis. well done to you for keeping that music alive. It's so important. And, and now it's rubbed off. And Maren, you have a massive future ahead of yourself. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> we would love to have you back maybe sometime next year if you're not too starstruck or not too blown away <laughs> Merlin Bradley Balabafay singer songwriter uh, singer I beg your pardon on her new album time for the news